entire purpose of this port assignment screen, the first time you go through the wizard, is simply a reference to allow you an easy access to know where to plug in your particular service. So in this case, you can see the right aileron is labeled number two, that it goes into port two, the left aileron goes into port six, the elevator goes into port three, the rudder goes into port four. Of course, this is very simple because this is a very you know, basic airplane. Um, airplanes that have flaps, uh, multiple tail types and things, um, this, this screen will tell you exactly where to plug those servos for that surfaces into. So it makes it very simple. Now keep in mind, when you go through the port assignment screen, first time through the wizard, you do not have the option of change those ports, changing those ports. Later, when you select the port assignment individually um, through the program, then you, you'll actually be able to click on those ports and you'll be able to change those ports if you so desire. So for example, if I want a number two to be port three and so on and so forth, you can actually chain that, change that in the application. The first time through you go through the wizard though, those are fixed and this is the time now to go ahead and install the servo ports like we said. We'll go ahead and do that now so we're ready for the next step. We went ahead and installed all the servo leads into the ports per our port assignment screen. So the right aileron is in port two, the left aileron's in port six, just like it shows, the elevator's in port three, the rudder's in port four. What's very important to understand is the application and the port assignment takes care of all the channels that are relative to the control surfaces. Any auxiliary channels or any ancillary channels not related to the control surface, in this case, the throttle. I'm gonna plug the throttle in the throttle channel or wherever you choose to. And by the way, any of those ancillary um, channels like throttle, like say for example I have a gear channel, or if I have a wheel brakes, if I have a, an air brake of some kind, uh, lights that turn off and on, anything that are not related to the control surface, you uh, plug that into the channel that you choose to, you know, based on the transmitter like you normally would into the receiver, and then you actually do the programming of those through the transmitter. So as we mentioned earlier, anything related to the control surfaces, you don't make any of the adjustments in the transmitter, which include you know, reversing, travel adjust, expo, dual rate, et cetera. You do that through the application. Anything related to surfaces not related to the controls, um, things like throttle, things like gear, uh, things like air brakes and so on, those are actually adjusted through the transmitter. And you plug those into ports um, associated with the transmitter, wherever you choose to, based on how you set the transmitter up. One thing that I did here as well, uh, just for a convenience sake, I took a, a servo extension and I plugged it into the uh, bind programming port. And later I'm actually gonna route this up so that it comes up through the top of the airplane. So anytime I want access to my, uh, to be able to program the AS3X system, I can actually just take the battery hatch off the top it'll be much easier um, to do that. And so in the next couple videos, we're gonna show you actually attaching it through the top. It's much easier than turning the airplane over each time to be able to get to. So I'll be able to bind through this extension and I'll also be able to program through this extension. Another thing we're getting ready to actually um, set the airplane up. And one of the things I highly recommend, this is an electric airplane. Um, we're gonna use a battery to drive the BEC. Man, take the propeller off just from a safety perspective. Um, you'll thank me later. Uh, trust me, it's, it's the way to go. I pulled the propeller off here. And next we're gonna go to fail safe. 